Hi, everyone. I am here with James Denton. Hi, James. Hey. <laughs> we are incredibly proud of Good Witch and our remarkable 13-year run. And just want to say thank you to all our fans, the goodies who have made the show so special. And we hope you tune in to watch the series finale. Um, we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Channel sent our way, so uh, we should uh -oh. just get started. You ready, James? <laughs> I'm so bad at this. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put my glasses on so I can see. I'll do my best. <laughs> awesome. I try not to stump you, okay? Nothing, nothing embarrassing, <laughs> nothing weird, maybe. I mean, no. I might. Well, then why okay. are we here? We're not exactly. Even here. That sounds so boring. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. First question. For the past seven seasons, the viewers have enjoyed watching Cassie and Sam's love story, otherwise known as Sassy, uh, unfold throughout the series. What was a favorite, favorite storyline that both of your characters were involved in? Mm. Ooh, I, I have one. I, I immediately thought of the, the recent one, the recent stuff that Sam and Cassie are going through. Like, they finally hit some problems, which was kind of unusual for us, but real for a life, right? It's funny, and, that was that was one of the two I thought of immediately, the Pinky Promise one. Yes. You know, I pro promised that we'll, we won't get too busy and all that stuff. And then yeah. that's what Sam does. And, and yeah, we that was... Yeah, those are my actually my two favorite storylines. The ones where we had that conflict. The other ones from right. season one, we had a great fight in Grey House when I said, "You're killing people." Basically, I said, "You're not a doctor." Right. Yeah, it was intense, that. and it yeah. was the far and away the best the best storyline you and I had because it was very honest and really frustrating because you were frustrated with me, and I and I and that was, there was a great scene in the four year where uh, we were not nice to each other, and it, but it worked really well. And then it's funny, the other one is when we were mean to each other in season seven. And, and yeah, so it, our bookends, right? At the beginning and the end of like of conflict. And again, nothing like awful, no. but just real life. Like, hey, you're yeah. not keeping your promises or you're not spending enough time. We have to, you know, find those moments. And, and, people, and I think people can relate, especially when you make it through it. And your respect, which we were both times, we, we found a way to the other side of it. But those are my favorite. Yeah. Same. Okay, good. We'll move on to the next question. We've got one. Let's see here. Throughout the series, Cassie and Sam have developed character growth that many of the viewers have connected with. There are heartfelt moments of Cassie being a mom and Sam overcoming obstacles as a doctor. During all of the seasons, what have you both enjoyed the most about playing Cassie and Sam? I think the fun for me was being the sort of fish out of water from a big city, which we dropped pretty early on, probably because of my accent. <laughs> But the idea that I came, had come to a small town and, and was trying to fit in the very beginning when I was opening my office and, you know, and, and trying to get to know Cassie and your, whatever you were doing with the tea and all the advice. Right, and, right. Um, but that sort of fitting into Middleton was always fun for me, even to the yeah. point where we got married and I moved into Grey House. And there was a scene with a bunch of kids running around and all the guests at Grey House. And Sam was oh, like, I remember that. Yeah. how am I going to live here with this? Yeah. <laughs> So that was fun. Oh, nice. that, that part of Sam trying to adapt to Middleton. Yeah, was, was fun. Yeah. I love that. I um, gosh, I've had so many different things. I'm trying to think. Um, I think just, uh, yeah, being, us merging together was a big one. You know, mm -hmm. like juggling it all. My kid, your kid. How do we not make it my kid, your kid? But we we started taking care of each other's kids, and you know, yep. you were given. Uh, um, Grace driving lessons mm -hmm. and I was helping Nick and you know just kind of mm -hmm. how we blended and worked out some of those kinks was really really fun to yep agree all right good next one uh, not only does the cast have amazing chemistry on screen but you both have expressed your appreciation for being part of Good Witch what do you both enjoy about each other the most when working on set they're gonna make me sad I know I'm not gonna cry I'm not, I got my hair <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to answer this question. I answer all the time, as you know. Um, I It's it's frustrating and wildly impressive to me how smart you are. Uh, and because, yeah. because you can, and this is in no way, and, and you'll know what I mean as an, as an actor, and I hope other people do too, that if you haven't had time to spend with the sides or the scene, which is not ever your or my fault, we, don't, we get them very late. And you can show up and do and perform a scene that you have not seen. And I know you haven't seen it. And again, that's not your fault. 
Um, sometimes it might be, but generally, sometimes, generally it's not your fault. Um, and, <laughs> and within a matter of seconds, not only is it ingrained, because I know people are kind of fascinated by us memorizing, which you and I both know how that works, but that's not the trick. You've memorized it, but then you, you act it in literally a turnaround of less than two or three minutes. And that's really, really hard to do. Um, and that was fun. And that makes my job a lot easier. And there were times where it was also fun to watch. You know, I remember looking at Davy Towers. Remember Davy, the camera operator? Yeah. He, he, he'd been in the business for 100 years. And you would do that. And after, like, it being it handed to you, you never seen it. And then he would shoot it. Davy would look at me and go, how does she do that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's anyway. really sweet. Well, yeah, I got to say, it helps that I've been playing this character for 13 years. I oh. mean, it just becomes a part of you. And right. certainly if I walked into a new movie set with De Niro or whoever, like I would not be just like, oh, let me just wing it. But uh, thank you. That's really sweet. Yeah, sure. um, I, by the way, I, I know we did get handed signs late and scripts late sometimes, but you always know your lines. You like I walk in and I have to hold the, the page in rehearsal. And after a couple of times, I get it pretty quick. But you just like always knew your lines, always professional always on time and just fun and funny, funny as hell. We had some good times on that set. That I Thank you. Right. Miss. Very sweet. Basically, nice. we, we did have, it was one of the funnest places I've ever worked. Yeah, seriously. Yep. Truth. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, next question. Cassie and Sam have dealt with hardships during season seven where their relationship has been tested on numerous occasions. What do you admire the most about your character's relationship? Or it's together, I guess that means. Um, I mean, I think we kind of answered that. Like, we just, we get through this stuff, you know? We have yeah. differences, difference of opinion on how to handle things. We have, we're different people, but we communicate. Uh, well, and, we, and, and, it's, and unfortunately, it's a shame you'd have to say this, but just the respect. Yeah. We've all seen relationships that we haven't been in them that right. lack that amount of, just a modicum of respect. And Sam and Cassie, above all, I think, respect each other's independence and, and, and positions. And even when we're breaking promises to each other, which people unfortunately do, there was just always this basis of respect, even from the very beginning, where we would bend our own thoughts and our own beliefs to at least, okay, this is coming from Cassie, so maybe I should listen. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that's cool. Yeah. That's true. As different as our thinking were, our thinking and backgrounds were, mm -hmm. we were able to do that and, and cast yeah. it. And we both yeah. did it, yeah. yeah. And it was so often you could see, yeah, we would bend to the other one yeah. just surely, strictly out of respect. Say, okay, there must be something to this if they feel this way. Right. Yeah. Very cool. All right, good. Um, there are many iconic moments in the show from Cassie and Sam's first kiss to their wedding day. Can you share any behind the scenes moments that made an episode or season special while filming? I hate this question. I can never think of behind the scenes I mean, moments. Because I feel like I'm letting down the viewers by not having an answer. I, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm completely understand them asking it. But we, yeah. we, it's a more serious workplace than people think. And they're, it's right. not, they see blooper reels. And I think they think there's a lot of that going on. We don't really have blooper reels. We have fun, but yeah. there aren't. Other than the fact that so many of those scenes when you and I were supposed to look good and romantic and were shot at 3 and 4 a.m., yeah. that kind of stuff, I think that would surprise people. There was a scene that, with us dancing on a rooftop in a tux and formal, oh. and it was at 3, 3 or 4 in the morning, and it was tight close-ups of, of yeah. lucky dovey stuff. And of course, you look, you always do. And I looked like I was 90 years old. And I was like, <laughs> this is not the time to shoot a romantic scene. Um, so and it was freezing. Shocked. It was yes, freezing, freezing. Like, cold. Like oh, yes. frozen. Yes, people would be shocked how much, how many of those scenes are shot at two, three, four in the morning, and right. you're trying to, yeah, yeah. So that's that and, makes. And, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, the other thing is like everyone's tired and it, it's late, and you've got like you know twenty minutes to get the shot, at, otherwise the venue you're shooting at is going to shut you down. So there's like a lot of that going on, but yes. within that we have fun and yep. there's a lot of camaraderie and yeah, a lot of coffee, <laughs> <laughs> lots of coffee. <laughs> okay, good. Um, next question. Uh, viewers have enjoyed the deep connections Cassie and Sam have built together throughout the years. Even though the series is coming to an end, Cassie and Sam will live in our hearts forever. 
What are you hoping the viewers will take away from Good Witch after watching the series finale? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Now making me nostalgic. I haven't really thought about that. I know I haven't either. Mm. I am. Um, wouldn't you? Uh, wouldn't you? Would you say just the positivity? And not yes. to be but Middleton is a pretty great place. We've we've, we've compared it to Mayberry even in the past, um, because even big conflicts are resolved well, and people generally are really nice to each other. And and the way that I got, you know, not to be too grandiose, but conflict resolution in a positive way, respectfully, and everybody moves on with their lives, and and people don't have to be awful to each other. And that's just runs throughout all the movies and the show and. Be nice if that would spread, huh? Yeah, wouldn't that be amazing if every place was had a little more of Middleton? I think yeah. uh, you're absolutely right. You know, I was reading a lot of the comments on my recent posts as everything's coming to an end and bittersweet and you know sad for sure um, because because Cassie and 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 the Good Witch and everything that that represents that the the good and the positivity and all of that mm -hmm. is coming to an end. But people were like, you know what? We'll always have that. We'll always have the the positivity the you know, like seeing the best in people, glass half yeah. full, you know, those concepts that I think yes. um, I hope that they have, ha can always go back to. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, good. Um, okay, let's see here. Since you both have worked together for many years to wrap up our social live, let's play a game of who's most likely to Good Witch Edition. Choose from the entire cast or their characters. Oh, either or? Either or. So you can choose anyone, the, the, the actor or the... Uh, the character. So here we go. Oh, wow. Who is you ready? Yeah. Who's most likely to renovate a cafe or a house? Actors, me. Yes. I'm yeah. always I'm always renovating a house. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Characters. George. Uh, oh, George. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Doesn't Abigail do it? Obviously. Yeah. 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 Cat does it for a living. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. All right, good. Uh, who's most likely to sail around the world? You. <laughs> we can't say Victor. <laughs> Since it's oh, one yeah. of right? um, you and Victor. I, don't know. I can't afford to sail. I, I can't afford to sail around the world. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That sounds like something maybe Scott um, Scott Caballero, who plays Adam, oh, something yeah. he might do in real life, or right. maybe maybe Sarah and Peter, Sarah yeah. Power and her husband Peter. They they might, but. You and I have too much kid stuff to deal with. Exactly. Too many kids. Um, <laughs> okay, good. Who's most likely to have a picnic on the beach? Cassie, for sure. Cassie as characters. Yeah. I'm going to say Mark Binet. Oh, yes. I, can I don't know if people, if people would, if he would even agree with that, but he's very romantic. And, uh, he is. Yeah. He is. And I know he's like, um, he bakes and he's got like a beautiful yep. garden and you know, yep. yeah, I could see that. He's romantic. Yeah. Okay. And who's most likely to host a movie night themed party? Kylie Evans. Yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, um, and then in the show, probably Martha. I was thinking that too. Yeah. Okay. Who's most likely to transform their house into a haunted house for Halloween? Me. Yes. Through that with all the you and, like. you. and who? You, you and you. You and Ka me, Cassie. Me and, and me and Cassie. That's right. Cassie's favorite. Yeah, it's kind of my favorite holiday too. It's pretty. Yeah, fun. I know you like Halloween. You always used to try to want Halloween off so you could go home and be with your kids. Yeah, and sometimes it was on a Wednesday or Thursday, which made it yeah. a little harder. But uh, yeah. I think I missed. I missed one, which is not bad in thirteen no, years. Not bad at all. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, good. Who is most likely to participate in a running marathon? Not Ooh, me. No, not me. not me either. I don't think we have any big runners, joggers, do we? I don't think so. I can see Sarah doing that. Sarah Power. I don't know why. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we have anybody who runs, which is yeah. odd for a cast that big. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. John Eskinos, our producer, he, he probably. Yeah, does. John. He's a big exerciser. That's true. And maybe Adam again. You know, Scott Caballero, Adam, the. Yeah. Hospital. I know he's an exercise guy in the sh you know on the show. So that character probably. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Um, okay, who's most likely to start their own business? Gosh, so many did on the show, right? Stephanie, Cassie. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, Sarah, Abigail. Uh, yeah, Abigail. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody. Sam opened a practice. 
right um yeah uh, cat did as well right um uh, yes joy right she kind of yes. started to move moved it to town yeah true I've never even thought of that. Almost every character is branched out in business. As far as actors, know. as far as actors, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah, probably all of us. Kind of what actors do, right? It's like. Yeah, you run your own business every day. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're the product, kind of repackaging it. Yes. Yes. Getting the marketing out there. Yeah, which is time for me to repackage now that we're canceled. Yeah, exactly. Hmm, what are we gonna do next? Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll get to do something yeah. together. That would be that would be cool. That would be great. Yeah. Something totally different. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's all the uh, that's all the, the questions for the game. And um, I guess that's it. You got anything else to say yeah. before we wrap it I up? I think so. Just, you know, enjoy. Is all this left to air the finale, I guess? That's it. Okay. Series yeah. finale. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's yeah. coming up in, uh, nice. uh, on Sunday, July 25th at 9 p.m. So we hope you all tune in and see how nice. everything gets wrapped up. And, and then I... Highly recommend them streaming it the entire seven seasons at some point later. Exactly. No, it, actually, it, it's on on Hallmark uh, Movies and Mysteries all day right. Sunday. I think like just a huge marathon. Right. So grab your popcorn and your PJs. And, and it's uh, a fun and it, it's a fun finale. And and oddly enough, uh, viewers often wonder this. They plan for it, and so there is I know a really sweet sort of you know, montage thing. So it's not yes. one that, that completely leaves you hanging. So. Right. We well, did have two, somewhat, two versions. Somewhat. Not completely, but somewhat. somewhat yeah. Prepared. Yeah. We didn't know we were not we we're not coming back, but it, there was right. two options. I guess they do that sometimes, yeah. and we never know. So uh, check that it out people, for sure. Because people have asked me about that. Is it one of those that's just going to feel like there should be another episode and there's not? No. No. I think it's. Places. You and I are getting in the limo. You and I are getting in the limo, and you know, there's some interesting things happening. Definitely. There's yeah. definitely a nice, uh, a nice wrap up, I think. Uh, you, people won't be feeling like they're, you know, like it was a cliffhanger or anything like that. Yes. And it's, and it's not surprisingly positive. Exactly. And so I know you won't be tweeting, um, Mr. No Social Media. So I, mean, I will I tweet for us and I might text you and maybe I can okay. include your texts in my tweeting. So use hashtag goodies for that. And uh, we'll see you guys on Sunday. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for watching all these years. Mm-hmm. <laughs>